Hi everyone, Gott wach. So I wanted to talk about, I want to talk about the Vietze Sicha, it's Parsha Svishlach now. Um, but I just wanted to actually say that it's Parsha Svishlach that really was the impetus for me to start learning the Nanofen and Beis Sichas in depth. Um, about, I think it was like two or three years ago, I was learning the Vishlach Sicha from the Yernan Beis. And I just looked it up now. I don't have that much of an amazing memory, <laughs> but I was like, where did I see this? So it's actually at the end of Ice Yud Aleph, at the end of the 11th paragraph in the, the 11th chapter in the Sicha, the Rebbe says something that really caught my attention. It says that now that the Avodas Habirurim is done, now that the, this avoda of refining the world, which would be like the main avoda of iskafia, the main avoda of the soul being dominant over the body, right? The Rebbe says, now that that's done, there's a new avoda to actually reveal that it's been done, to actually reveal that the gaula is here and that the world is ready. And I was like, oh, we have a new avoda? And then I thought to myself, there's no way that the Rebbe is telling us we have a new Avoda and he's not giving it to us. But the whole thing about Avoda is that it has to, we have to actually do it. So the delving into the Sikhas and really trying to see what is it that the Rebbe is telling us? What is this new Avoda? So that is what was my impetus to start learning these Sikhas. And there's no question that there's something very special about the Nanaf Nambe Sikhas and the way the Rebbe is emphasizing that we've really entered Gula times. And there's a lot of very, um, I guess the word would be um, monumental statements, like mind blowing statements in those sikhas. But once you start learning those sikhas and then you go back to Maimaram, even from the year Yud Aleph, you start seeing that the Rebbe is already teaching us about the Gula from like the very beginning. So it's not even that it was a new thing. It's just that there's things that came out in a very like, almost like the Rebbe spells it out and then an often and base is in, in a new way. And there was definitely something that got crossed over, I think, in those years. So, so yeah, so, so that, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm learning these sikhas and sharing them because not that I have the answers. Of course, I don't have the answers. The Rebbe has the answers, but it's our job, I believe, to delve in and try to figure it out. Like, how are we going to reveal the Gula? The Rebbe is telling us that's our Aveda and that it's here and that the world is ready. So, so, Back to the Vietze Sicha. So the Rebbe is speaking about the Avoda of Yaakov purifying Esav. And so what's interesting also about these Sichas, especially if you're going to go start learning them, which I, I hope you will, the Rebbe will do this thing where he sets up, like, what is the Avoda in Galus, right? And so you're learning it and you're learning all about, like, the refinement of, of Esav and you're thinking to yourself, like, okay, like, I, I want to do this Avoda Saberur, you know, like, the Rebbe's talking about it, like, this is the Avoda. But then at the end of the Sikha, the Rebbe will say, and we're done with that. <laughs> so then you have to go back and say, oh my gosh, everything the Rebbe was talking about here, he's saying we already did. So it's almost like Derech Shlila or like, like, then you have to sort of extract out. So if that's done, then what's, what's left? So then when you start seeing, the Rebbe says, but in the Geula, we'll be doing this. Or in the Geula, it will be that actually the body will enliven the soul. And then you look at the end of the Sikh where the Rebbe says, we're already in the Geula and we're, we're done with the refinement. And then you're like, oh, so, so now we're in the Avoda of the body enlivening the soul. Wow, what does that even look like? That's, that's amazing, right? And the Rebbe doesn't leave us without answers or without clues. At the very end of the Sikha, the Rebbe says something very gewaldic, if you pay attention. The Rebbe says that this idea, the body enlivening soul, means that the physicality of the world actually cries out, like, I am here for no purpose other than to serve the Creator, that to assist you in serving the Creator. And that the physical world actually gives koach in our avoda. It inspires the spirituality, not the other way around. So what does that look like? So I'm just going to give you one really simple, easy way to understand it. And then I'll tell you also, because I was also about to tell you what the Rebbe says in the Sikha, and then I, I digressed a little bit. But I want to tell you what the Rebbe says in the Sikha. I want to tell you first this. So there's a great story of someone who came to the Rebbe. He was trying to build a minion. And he was having a hard time. And the Rebbe said to him, are you serving Cholent? And he said, no. The Rebbe said, serve Cholent. People will come to the minion. 
what did he do? He started advertising, he's serving chant. People came to eat the chant and then they stayed for minion and they loved it and they felt like, wow, it's so spiritually uplifting. But it was the chant that got them there. And that is our generation. That It's the gashmias that gets us and then it, it leads us to the inspired and the ruchmias. And this is a special thing in our generation. And it's not something to be like, oh, we're so gashmias. Like, no, it's by design, it's ge'uladik. <laughs> So the Rebbe says at the end of the Sicha, we should give our children lots of Hanukkah gelt because that um, large amount of Hanukkah gelt is going to make them want to be connected to the Rebbeim whose custom is to give Hanukkah gelt. And the Rebbe also says that we're going to take our homes with us to the base Hamikdash. Why? We're going to willingly go because we're going to get to bring our homes with us. So I think we really need to think about this and start reframing the way that we relate to this world, that it's no longer our enemy, that it's here to assist us and hop that and use it in the chinuch of our children and in the chinuch of ourselves. And we should have the full scars of the gold and we should take our homes with us to Yerushalayim and it should be tonight.